Do you want to supercharge your Figma workflow? In this video, I'm diving into the top five AI plugins that can make your design process faster, smarter, and more efficient. And as you know, AI is transforming design and Figma is at the forefront of this change. From automating tasks to generating smart design suggestions, these plugins are game changers for designers to level up their skill. So stick around as I walk you through each plugin and show you how you can streamline your Figma projects. Right, now we are in Figma and I'm going to leverage this uh, amazing kit called the Glossy Bank Card Kit as the base. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to explore the very first plugin, uh, which uh, is going to be UX Pilot. Now, this uh, has to be one of my favorite uh, plugins in Figma these days, uh, because what it does, it uh, enables you to add the prompt and you can select between uh, a hi-fi design or a wireframe and select if you want a desktop or mobile app and even the amount of screens per generation. So we're going to keep the standard design system as uh, that is going to be totally fine. You're going to need the prompt to change that. But what we're going to ask is essentially uh, create a dashboard design for a SaaS company that helps uh, users uh, uh, optimize and uh, keep track of their SaaS uh, subscriptions. And uh, I'm going to keep it vague. However, one thing that you can do is to go into ChatGPT and uh, ask it uh, to create uh, an even more detailed prompt uh, with all of the different sections that you need uh, for a specific design. So I'm simply going to keep it uh, uh, quite uh, uh, fake for now, just to get the concept across about what this plugin can really do for you. You can see now we have uh, the designs uh, ready and uh, this is already looking beautiful. Of course, it's uh, utilizing some uh, uh, UI components which are styled in a specific way, but we can obviously go ahead and change it. And this is going to be quite useful, especially when you're brainstorming ideas for new screens and new websites, new apps. So as you can see, this is actually looking pretty solid and it got the main center point, which is going to be the content around that specific project that we are building. So this is going to be the first one. And then another plugin, which I highly recommend you along these lines, which you can use in pairs. So you can use one together with this other one. It's going to be text to design. And um, the way that the, I, the reason why I like these uh, is that I can actually leverage uh, two type of uh, uh, plugins, which uh, essentially do the, a similar job uh, to some degree. And uh, I can uh, have simply more ideas on the table. So I'm going to add the exact same prompt, which I added. So create a dashboard design for us as company that does that. And uh, I'm going to simply go ahead and submit this request. And uh, this is going to generate the response in just a moment. See, we now have uh, this uh, dashboard, which is uh, another take. Maybe it's more simple in this case, but again, having more ideas on the table is always good. And then you can obviously export it as frames and even as auto layout. And the moment that I click on uh, as frames, you can see it uh, that we have it uh, here in Figma. It's all editable and uh, ready to go. So that uh, is going to be the top uh, two plugins when it comes uh, to generating uh, ideas and concepts. Uh, another plugin which uh, I really uh, like in uh, specific scenarios is going to be the screenshot to editable Figma design by Codia AI Design. So what you can do over here is uh, you can paste uh, a uh, image and it's going to turn it into design. So let's say that, uh, for example, we have this uh, um, image uh, as a non-editable layer. I'm simply going to use Shift Command C in order to copy it as, as a PNG and I can add it over here and it's going to translate it. Unfortunately, I will need uh, to upgrade uh, at this point uh, to access this feature, but basically whenever you need uh, to add uh, uh, and translate an uh, image into uh, editable Figma files, this is going to be the plugin for you. So that's that. And then another one which I highly recommend you to check out is uh, Builder.io. Now this plugin is going to enable to uh, do all sorts of different things actually. 
But uh, one of the coolest features uh, right now is uh, the fact that I could have, uh, for example, a landing page design uh, and uh, I could uh, basically export this design into Lovable and then Lovable is going to essentially create uh, the coded version of that site. So in this example that worked on the other day, I basically had this uh, Figma design in uh, uh, just, just in Figma no auto layouts uh, no, nothing uh, really crazy it was a design that was made uh, quite a bit of time ago so quite basic and basically i used uh, this plugin uh, to export the design with one click uh, and it gave me not only the desktop version but also the mobile responsive version of uh, this uh, website so this is actually quite uh, incredible you can see that uh, if i go here under the code uh, I can see all of the all of the different code that has been created in, a, in pretty much a couple of seconds, and uh, it's all responsive, looking well. And of course, whenever you see issues, so for example, I'm in the process of fixing this background right here. It's uh, actually very simple because I'm simply going to ask Lovable, uh, can you adjust this? And I'm going to take a screenshot of uh, this very element, and I'm simply going to go over here and ask. Uh, can you change the blue background to white? And uh, Lovable is essentially going to do its uh, magic for me. So we're going to notice in uh, just a moment, uh, not have the blue element anymore in both the desktop and uh, the mobile version. So as you can see, this is going to be 